being part of the World Cup was very special for me. Obviously, that's the pinnacle of any soccer player's dream. And for me, I've always had no problem getting motivated. And because I had everybody help me grow up and this community feeling, when I played in the World Cup, the happiest moment for me was when I went on the field, the very first game, I went to the national anthem, and I just remember thinking in my mind, you know, there's two or three billion people watching this game, and every single person that supported me along the way is sitting there in a bar or house or restaurant telling the guy next to them, I told you so. And it's like all these things that they did for me came to fruition. So um, it was a special moment for me. People say I played my best one month of soccer of my life, which is also special because I played my best on the biggest stage. And, uh, you know, it's a memory now, but it can never be taken away. The Sonic Foundation is a 501c3 that I started in Minnesota seven years ago. Uh, since retiring, we've really ramped it up. It's soccer-based programming. Our mission is to unite diverse communities and help kids succeed on and off the field, and soccer is the appeal. The Sinai Foundation has quite a few programs. One of our programs is Kick It Back, where we collect and redistribute shoes. And we have the Haitian Initiative, where we make yearly visits to Haiti and bring a team to Minnesota for three weeks every summer. We have the College Prep 100, where we help kids navigate the recruiting process, and with their service learning time, they volunteer and actually coach kids for free all summer long. We have For All Youth, anti-racism training, and we help increase the participation of kids of color into soccer. And our last and probably most important program is Dreamline, which is an after-school leadership in soccer where we actually stay in the school full-time to make sure that we can mentor these kids and make education a priority. When things get really difficult for me, it seems that brings out the best in me. It's a chance to perform, and as an athlete, you know, I was a little bit like that. Sometimes I'll just take a break in the middle of the day and go to Lifetime actually and play basketball or play pickup soccer with my friends. Being able to get that release, you come back and you're invigorated, a little shot of energy, and you just keep going.